Hey guys, it's Ashley with AMJ Tutorials and today we're going to learn how to separate uh, the glasses and apply two separate images to each lens. Um, if you watched my video on how to create the mom life messy bun girl, we already have that image so if not, watch that video, create the image, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is our finished product. I'll just remove it to the side. Okay, so let's ungroup it by Control Shift G, and it'll ungroup the image, or you could have went up here to Object Ungroup. Okay, so we um, left the mom life separate from this image so we could change the color, but we union these, we weld them together, and we cannot ungroup them. They're welded together. So we need to separate this image. So to do that, we need to duplicate it by holding Control D, and it'll give us a, an, another image. Just gonna move those over here. Move this out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna delete uh, the hair on one and the glasses on the other. So we'll have two different, so we'll have separate things to work with. So let's click over here on the left on the nodes, and then we're just gonna highlight it by drawing a box with our mouse over the hair. And we're gonna press delete on the keyboard. You see that I left a little node so I can control alt, alt and click on that with my mouse and it'll delete it. Okay, so we just got the glasses in this one. Now let's uh, delete the glasses in this image by doing the same thing, and delete. Okay, so now we have the hair and the glasses separate, so we can work with just the glasses. Okay, now we need to duplicate the glasses, Control D, because we're gonna cut them apart, and then we're gonna select both of them by drawing a box over top of them. And we're gonna lower the opacity so we can see through these. So I hit Control Shift F to bring up here on the right the fill and stroke. And you can see down here the opacity down here. Let's lower it a lot so we can see through. There's two of them. Now we're going to cut, we're gonna delete one side and keep the other side. So I need just a random square. And I'm gonna just draw it in the middle of these glasses. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate my square again so I have it for when I cut the other side. So it'll be the same exact thing. Okay, so I select one of my square, I hold shift, and select the glasses, the first pair of glasses on top. I'm gonna go up to Path, Difference. And you can see that it cut the glasses. Let's bring it in closer, so I hit the number three on my keyboard, then the minus to go out a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the square to the other side and you can see where I cut cut it. And it'll fit just right in there like that. Now, uh, another thing is sometimes if you see up here in the top right, the snapping tool, mine's on, but if it's off, it won't like magnetize to where, sometimes it's annoying and it'll just like immediately put things where you don't want it, but in this situation, it's a good thing and it'll click on there. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my square and the other pair of sunglasses and click path difference. So now you can see that I have two separate lenses. Okay, and a control Z will take back all my actions, will undo. Okay, now 
we're going to put pictures in and I'm just going to grab two pictures um, off the Apple of Google which explains mom life exactly <laughs> okay so we're going to bring in we're going to copy that picture and paste it select it and I'm going to resize it and I'm going to hold control shift while I'm resizing to hold its proportions. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that it's behind the sunglasses, so I'm gonna page down. I'm gonna hit the three, number three, to bring me in closer. Zoom out the minus button on the keyboard. And now I'm just gonna position it to where I want. separate these so I know that I got all okay so if that looks good I've got my image selected and I've got my sunglasses selected and I'm gonna go up to object clip set clip okay now I'm going to go back and grab my other picture copy it Paste it. I'll bring it down. Make sure it's in the back. Three to bring me up closer. And I'll make sure everything's okay. So I've got my sunglasses selected and my picture, object, clip, set clip. Now I'm just going to line up the glasses like so and bring me in closer so I can see. And I'm going to group these by control G on my keyboard. I'm going to bring back my mom life under here. I'm going to uh, bring up the align tool because I like to make sure everything's centered and lined up. So control shift A. And here on the right, it's the align. So I'm going to select all three and center them up. Let me bring my glasses up a little bit. And this could be a sublimation design or uh, you could print it on printable vinyl. So you just wanna make sure that if you want the hair to be black, everything that you see on this picture needs to be what you want on the product. Um, so yeah, you could just change anything. And if you wanted it to match your picture, I always use this. I always take the image that I want to change the color to. Go over here to my dropper tool on the left, and I can pick a color in the image that I want my hair. So then it all kind of looks matchy matchy. Um, it's a little hard to see, but. You get the idea. Or we could just do the same color. So it all kind kind of goes together. And then I would just control G to group it. I'll delete that one. And then we're going to save it as a PNG file. So to do that, we're going to hit Control shift e on our keyboard. It's going to pop up this. And uh, a few designs that I've been making, I've noticed that sometimes I'll save it. If you see right here in this box, it shows that my image is in there and it looks good. But sometimes whenever I export it, it'll, it'll be blank. 
it won't even show that I export an image. So I always, from, from now on, I don't know if it's a glitch in Inkscape or what, but even though it shows that, I'm going to click off of my image, and then I'm going to click my image again and make sure the selection is on. And then I'm going to go down here because I want it in a specific folder so I can find it. I want it in my documents. I'm going to hit mom live png. Name it whatever you want. And then click save. And that's it. I hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments or need help with anything else specific, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching guys. Happy creating!